Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just want to make a quick video of this penny stock that was brought to my attention. Uh, I saw a video on this someone made a couple of weeks ago. They're just kind of going over the charts and doing a quick breakdown of it. And I saw another video today. Uh, this guy was talking about uh, this company and I'm like, what in the world is this? So I started looking into it and listened to a little bit of his video then started diving into their website. And I wanted to bring this to everyone's attention here because I think that this is a really really good buy <laughs> so um company is iqst and uh, they are a u.s based publicly listed company offering leading edge telecommunication and technology services for global markets they provide service to telecommunication electric vehicles liquid fuel distribution chemical and financial service industries they have four business divisions telecom technology fintech and blockchain with worldwide B2B and B2C customer relations, okay? And go down here, we'll look at uh, the revenue of 2019 of $18 million, and it grows from 18 million to nearly 45 million. And then this year, they're projected $60.5 million <laughs> in revenue. They have 60% prepaid revenue. They're in 15 countries, and they have seven operating subsidiaries. So. Uh, let's kind of keep on trucking here and learn a, bit, a little bit more about them. So we're going to go down here. Their services, uh, blockchain platforms, financial services, Visa debit cards, technology service, uh, Internet of Things, IOTs, uh, batteries for EVs, telecommunication services, SMS, 4G, 5G, Omnichannel. Their business divisions, if you see here, they have IOT labs. Uh, Global Money One. Uh, they have a blockchain division there. Here's some of their subsidiaries. Uh, Swiss Link, and you can kind of read through uh, through some of the other ones as well. Let's see. Keep kind of trucking down here. So here's their uh, telecommunication division right here, and then they'll have the EV, liquid fuel distribution, chemical, financial services more about their subsidiaries. I'm gonna link their website in the description below if you'd wanna go and kind of read through every one of these sections. That'll just take uh, way too much time for me to kind of go through every single one of these, right? Uh, these are some of their customers, guys. I'm gonna actually just show you down here. They have pictures of, and you'll recognize a lot of, um, a lot of the uh, logo. So Verizon, okay, you have T-Mobile, uh, Altice, uh, which bought out, I believe, Suddenlink. Uh, let's see, Orbital. Uh, I believe IBM was one of them. Yep, there's IBM. So you see, those are some uh, just some of the the bigger name uh, people that are customers of this particular company. Okay, goes down and talk about their management. There's no one on the management team that you know sticks out to me that I've seen in any other type of uh, business venture, but who knows you may you recognize someone on here and maybe you can comment below and let us know so here's what i want to show you guys about their um the, the news that they they released and I, and really just i'm blown away by the amount of news that they release and you know as you can see here let's just look from march okay here's march 1st about the telecom division it talks about um I, IQST announces new consolidated telecommunications brand launch coming soon. Then two days later, announces mobile number portability application blockchain platform. Then one day later, financial results. IQST realizes $8 million in revenue for January is on track for $60.5 million for a 2021 forecast. Four days later, FinTech division. <laughs> IQST, new Visa debit card service scheduled to launch by June, initiating $128 million revenue stream opportunity. March 11th, IQST, Quartz Investment Banking Partner in preparation for NASDAQ listing. Read that again. IQST, Court Investment Banking Partner in preparation for NASDAQ listing, guys. They're trying to get bumped up to the NASDAQ, baby. They're trying to leave this OTC stuff behind. That's crazy, okay? Um, 
and, and then it's just like almost every uh, every other day they got something new coming and over here this is what's blown my mind too the revenue numbers that they have they just announced that they're going to do a marketing campaign to ramp up revenue like you're just announcing a marketing campaign and you've got that type of revenue already like that is wild in my opinion uh so this thing here guys uh, this is amazing and you see like all the other uh pr that they've released you know over the past couple of months but let's take a look at the chart see what they're telling us and i'll tell you what my plan is uh, going forward into this week okay guys i'm on the 180 day four hour time frame and as you see here it did it hit a high of two dollars um point over the past uh few weeks or month or whatnot and it's been you know steadily just kind of been coming down on on the decline so uh, it did bounce you know fairly low it came down all the way to about 58 60 cents and came right back up um, and then has you know kind of bounced off of that SMA line there okay so now what I'm watching for on Monday morning is to see you know what happens off of the bell I know the video that I watched today uh, this this guy was talking about how he's coming in dumping a bunch of money right at the open so he has a lot of followers so you could see a, a decent spike in the price coming out the gates on Monday morning okay so one thing to be cautious of is you don't want to you know if you see it kind of shooting up just straight up don't chase it just wait for that pullback especially these OTC stocks uh, extremely volatile extremely extremely volatile so uh, what I want to do I do want to get into this stock okay and I'm looking at you know if, if I'm looking at in regards to a swing play I mean these are some pretty decent size uh, candles and both of them are closing above uh, that green EMA line so I would think really off the open if you can catch it at that dollar mark then that would be uh, that would be a good buying opportunity but if not if it you know shoots up and it's too crazy to start I would wait for a pullback I would really prefer it you know to trade around this little channel for a couple of days and kind of you know cool off a little bit <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna happen uh, but I'm gonna try to get in at about a dollar okay and I'm gonna start my position with you know maybe a couple of hundred bucks to get my feet wet and then I want to see how it plays I don't know you know I want to see if it's gonna shoot straight back up or we're we gonna sell back off and and play in this channel if we stay in this channel here okay then I would feel comfortable coming back in uh, more heavy maybe throwing several hundred bucks or a couple thousand bucks into it but um, just to start off the reason I'm only going to put a couple of hundred dollars in is for one I don't want to miss a, a massive move to the upside okay and two if I'm throwing a you know a couple hundred bucks in now and for some reason it tanks and it goes down then when I come back to buy heavier I can average down my position and get my cost per share where I need it to be okay which is what I've done with S&PW and um, what I'm doing with hemp and some of these other OTC stocks that we're playing but I think this one guys is going to move a lot quicker than those other plays so it's one to keep an eye on and consider getting into if um, if you're you know interested that's all I got guys hope you have a great day and I just wanted to provide some information about this stock because it did come across um, my computer today and I thought that it would be a good buy and wanted to share with you guys so other than that we'll catch you in the next video